everybody i'm gonna present you today the lithium ion battery or known as 18650 battery or ion battery or polymer battery or lithium ion polymer whatever you want to call it 3.7 volts battery and so on basically lithium ion battery are these cells can be as well bigger or smaller these are as you can see here 18650 rated at uh, 1200 million powers 3.7 volts with this type of battery if you're gonna treat them right you're gonna charge them right you can make from electric bike battery 12 volts battery that gonna replace the lead we're gonna replace the lead acid one you can make 48 volts you can make basically whatever voltage you want and need for your application and you can make power banks you can make charger you can make solar lithium ion battery charger and so on so on. I'm gonna present you now what I did found by many searches and watching YouTube clips all over the place I still don't know everything about them but I think at this point I do have uh, some tips and tricks for you that's gonna be useful if you want to build a lithium-ion battery pack multi-cell or power wall maybe whatever is gonna be your needs all right folks so let's get started all right friends so we do have here three lithium ion battery that we did manage to harvest from uh, three different places this one I did recover it from a laptop battery this one I did recover from a cheap power bank and this one I did recover from a electric cigarette or vaping cigar you know the thing the new stuff you know vaping and so on so we do have three batteries they look the same they're not colored the same as as you know by now no two batteries can be the same size in capacity voltage and so on so the first step that you're gonna do when you're gonna finish harvesting the cells the first thing you're gonna check the voltage as you can see this one is pretty much dead I'm gonna put it aside this one has three four point ten so it's relatively good this one four point thirteen so this is pretty charged and good all right so first thing after you did measure the cell if they come across with a voltage below two volts that's it scrap is done and there are very few possibility you can revive that okay so you manage the cells you did the uh, measure the voltage now after you did measure them you have to charge them to charge it i do have a link here somewhere how to make a cheap charger or you can buy a professional one it's up to you depending how many you got, how many money you got to spend on this lithium ion battery project of yours but for charging them i choose this method this is a cheap imax charger like a copy of the the proper imax b6 charger which you can see it can uh, charge four or eight cell at, uh, at the same time as you can see in the back here is very easy to make this um, lithium ion charger is very easy very inexpensive kind of so four cell at a time this one costs like four pounds and you got the chargers and the cable and the battery you have to buy the holder yes so you're gonna charge them after the charging process is finished okay we're gonna put here the cells 
after the charging process is finished you're gonna write on the battery each and every one you're gonna measure them again after the, the process is finished so you're gonna measure the voltage this one apparently is let's see so you're gonna measure see 4.9 and the first charging it was like 4.12 but after you finish them you're gonna measure the voltage you're gonna write it on the battery here and you're gonna put them aside in a box all of your battery they're gonna stay in a box after you're gonna put the voltage you're gonna sit them in a box okay you're gonna leave this box for minimum one week to sit aside yeah okay so let's suppose that that week has passed and we're gonna be back we are anxious to see how our battery are doing you have here the initial voltage and after a week you're gonna measure them again and you're gonna see what's the difference you see this one was look at the meter 4.12 last week it was exactly 4.12 so this one we're gonna count as a good cell for the moment let's check another one let's check another one 4.13 and the initial voltage was 4.14 so it's a good cell as well and so on you're gonna proceed with the with all of the batteries yeah after this in the charging process if you're gonna uh, encounter some heating that's it you have to remove the battery and put it aside that one could be damaged and not gonna hold the charge but let's let's say none of them has uh, heated like this one you charge them you measure the voltage you put them in a box you come after a week and check the voltage again all right so all the voltages are plus or minus yeah now we have to check for the capacity for checking the capacity for checking the capacity unfortunately folks we don't have other choice than to buy this lipro balance charger imax b6 the original with the the label on the back here and from a trusted source like eBay or Amazon I'm gonna put the links there with this charger you're gonna check the capacity basically what this charger and this charger as well is doing it is discharging the cell at one amp for a period of time and is counting and after that counting uh, stops is gonna show you on the, the screen here how many milliamp hours you got I didn't uh, measure all of them like this one this one is uh, 750 milliamps this one is 1000 milliamps this one is 1092 this one is 700 and so on and so on so you're gonna have different values different capacities and different voltages what you're gonna do next is to arrange the cell to the nearest capacity number that you have uh, written on each and every cell so this one let's see 700 we're gonna put it here 788 here 750 so apart for the 700 all of these three they will be very happy to stay in a pack this one this is 1000 this is 1092 wait this is 1000 all right let's check another one 732 so this is here this one is 
1093 all right so we have a pack similar pack similar and this one is going to be single this is one uh, 1100 so on okay and now if you want to do uh, multiple stuff with them like electric bike battery 12 volts battery whatever you want to use your lithium-ion battery for tesla wall wall power wall whatever you're gonna need maybe a balancer maybe your different devices and so on but it's very simple if you want to make a 12 volt lithium ion battery you're just gonna connect them in series like so just like so in series and you got 12 volts if you wanna add more volts add more stuff in series as many as you want but the capacity to be nearly the same let's say now you, you want to make a power back very easy you're gonna put them in parallel in parallel basically in parallel means all the negative terminal and all the positive terminal are going with some leads to let's say common power bank or a tp4056 and you're gonna have your usb output if i'm gonna put all this in parallel i'm gonna have like one two three four six i'm gonna have six amp hour battery for six thousand milliamp at 3.7 volts and the arrangement is gonna be slightly different and uh, and so on all right folks i hope you did learn something today the the tools that you're gonna need the charger discharger labeling and patience and some money is not easy to make this stuff it's very tricky and in the next episode we're gonna cover the balancing and what i did what device i did discover that is doing the trick till the next one stay tuned put the comments below let me know if there is something new about this lithium ion battery or the charger or if you have tested this charger let me know till the meanwhile thumbs up subscribe and see you next time thank you my friends